Let's raise your hands in the air as we honor God. Father, we want to thank you for this evening. You are great and faithful God. To you belongs glory, honor, majesty. There is none like you. From generation to generation, you remain faithful. Father, we have come to you this evening, not unto any other man, but unto you, the creator of heaven and earth. We want to hear from you, O King of glory. And Father, we ask our God, may you open our spiritual ears. May you open our Lord, so that each one of us is able to hear in a manner that they will be able to understand. Bless the one who is going to share our God. Let this word fall on a fertile ground so that it will germinate and bear fruits and cause us to move from one step to another. We thank you, we bless you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Let us clap our hands as we welcome the servant of God. Praise God. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. My name is our brother Patrick Melenzi from Kenya, a town called Eldoret. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, before I continue, allow me to call my spiritual father to say hi. Come on, say hi. It's my spiritual father. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And by name is of God we from Him. I'm assistant pastor of Pillars of Hope. My pastor is on leave, but we are glad to be here tonight to worship the Lord together. May God bless you. Hallelujah. Fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Many Christians of today, they have lost fear of the Lord. We don't have fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Before the Christian of long time, they used to go to church, they used to fear God. The Christian of nowadays, we don't fear God. Hallelujah. If you go in the town city churches, if you see how they dress coming to church, they don't fear God anymore. Hallelujah. So we need to bring back the fear of Lord in church so that the church will go forward. Hallelujah. So that we'll see miracles in church. So that we'll see many people getting born again. And God will answer our prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. I have some example people who feared God. And God worked with them. He worked with them. There are some people we we'll read from the book here, but we'll be blessed. The book we are going to read today is the book of Genesis. I'm going to talk about the story of Joseph, the story of Yusuf. And then from there, we will continue. I have small time, like 20, 25 minutes. So I'm going to read from the New Century Version, the book of Genesis, chapter number 39. I'll tackle from verse 3 to verse 10. And it says, from verse 3, Potiphar saw that the Lord was with Joseph, and the Lord made Joseph successful in everything he did. For so Potiphar was very happy with Joseph and allowed him to be his personal, uh, personal servant. He put Joseph in charge of, of the house, trusting him with everything he owned. When Joseph was put in charge of the house and everything Potiphar owned, the Lord bless the people in Potiphar's house, Potiphar's house, because of Joseph. And the Lord bless everything that belongs to Potiphar, both in the house and in the field. So Potiphar left, Potiphar left Joseph in charge of everything he owned and was concerned about anything except food he ate. Now Joseph was well was well built and handsome. After some time, after some time, the wife of Joseph's master began to desire Joseph. And one day she said to him, have sexual relationship with me. But Joseph refused and said to her, my master trusted me with everything in this house. He has put me in charge of everything he owns. This is no, uh, this is no one, no one in his house greater than I. He has not kept everything from me except, except you, because you are his wife. How can I do such evil thing to, uh, evil thing? It is a sin against God. Hallelujah. Amen. 
We know the story of Joseph. He was a handsome boy. When he was in the house of Potiphar, the Potiphar's house a wife started admiring that young man. Even he requested the young man to make love with her. But the young man refused because the young man respected the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. If it was the young man of today, they could have do it. Hallelujah. Not from outside the church, from inside the church. But because this guy knows who, who was God to him, he knows God very well. He said, I will not sin against my master. I will not sin against my God. Hallelujah. Amen. And from that one, we learn a lot from Joseph. Joseph put with God. Everything Joseph put hand, it was successful. Hallelujah. So the church of today, if you want to go far, we have to be with the respect. Hallelujah. We have to respect God. We have to respect ourselves and respect our bosses the way Joseph did. And he went far. Hallelujah. Joseph was a young man like any other. He was a young man. He was not married. But through respecting God, God made him to become a prime minister. Hallelujah. So God can make you to achieve your goals through respecting him. Hallelujah. You have to respect God. You have to respect God. Either they have fired you. Either you don't have money. Either you have which kind of problem. Continue to respecting God and respecting each other. When you respect God, you will respect your brother. Hallelujah. Amen. If you don't say you respect God, you will not respect your brother and your neighbor. Hallelujah. Amen. One if you were. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As we continue, I was reading again the story of David. David, he respected God. One day David was walking. I read that article. One day David, uh, David, he feared the Lord and he refused to kill Saul even when he had opportunity to do to do so. Anyone who killed an enemy who has been after his life, when the chance arises, but David did not rather, he, he spared the king because he believed that the king Saul was anointed from the Lord. He feared God enough not to touch his own anointed. Hallelujah. So when you fear God, you will not kill. Hallelujah. When you fear God, you will not steal. When you fear God, you will not fornicate. Hallelujah. Amen. When you fear God, you will not go to work late. Going to work late is a sin. Hallelujah. Amen. You will ask me how we did that pass. One day was if you were. So when you fear God, everything will be okay. When you fear God, your family will be straight. Straight. When you fear God, your kid will be successful. They will go to school. They will bring joy back to you because you fear God. But when you start going corner corner, things will start going astray for you. Hallelujah. Amen. So the church of today, we need to go back to the track. We need to fear God. We need to respect God. We need to respect church. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to respect men of God. One is what The church of today, and people are coming to church to show themselves. On Sundays, I was preaching in the morning. On Sundays, people, everybody wants to bring this fashion to go and show himself in church. I'm the one who has got a good pretending. I'm the one who got out a good clothes than other one. Hallelujah. I'm the one having a big phone. I'm the one driving a big car. No, 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 no. Those that not look that one. God only looks inside you. So let us fear God. When you have fear of God, this other thing, you will see them as a material thing. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the Bible tells us, eh, we first look at the kingdom of God. The other thing, we shall be happy. Hallelujah. Amen. Smartness, handsomeness, beautifulness. What other things will come? Don't go to church when I'm aiming because I'm going to church with a sister there who will get up. Now, that nothing. My prayer in vain. Hallelujah. Amen. If you go to church, pray to God. God knows you need to marry. God knows you need to do well. God knows you need a car. God knows you need a land. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So let us look the kingdom of God first in and his righteousness. When we get that one, everything will be added unto us. Hallelujah. Amen. This whole book I'm teaching. Even from Quran, they teach. Hallelujah. Amen. Where I live in Nairobi, I live close to a mosque. There is a mosque there and they preach in Swahili. So there is a day I went to a bank and I was listening to a preacher who was preaching from there because they have like speakers. So my wife told me, you want to join Muslim? No, I told, you, I told her, that guy is preaching a message. The guy was having a very good message. Hallelujah. Amen. Again, it happened to be my elder brother is a Muslim. He's called Abu Bakr Salim. We live together with peace and harmony. 
Hallelujah. Today you see our brother Muslims, they are here. They are together. This country we are in is a Muslim country that we are invited. Hallelujah. The president of this land, he could have lifted up a flag and say, I don't want any other and any religion to this country. But he has left us alone. But the president of Somalia is a Kenyan. In 2016, <laughs> So when we fear God, we will go far. When we fear God, many things will open. Hallelujah. Many doors that we are seeing are closed will begin opening. Opening. Hallelujah. The prayer we have been praying, you will see now God is beginning to answer your prayer. Because we have, we, have, we have been praying for long. Now we have to investigate ourselves. You investigate yourself. What is wrong? Where did we go wrong? Where we go wrong? The church has gone astray. The church of today does not respect the Lord. Hallelujah. We need to respect the Lord and to bring back the holiness in church, to bring back the holiness in the altar. Hallelujah. To allow all spirit to work in our life, to allow all spirit to penetrate into our spirits. Hallelujah. Because when they invite me to preach, I know ah, I just come, open Bible, I will read. I have to go and fast. I have to pray. I have to deny myself so that the Holy Spirit will lead me. Hallelujah. Like the long term church. But nowadays, people have forgotten about that one. They just know we go to church, we preach, we pray, we go. It has become a routine. Hallelujah. There is one guy saying, he's saying, uh, salvation, salvation is not a one day journey, but it's an everyday journey. Hallelujah. Most of Christians of today, they know salvation is on Sunday alone. On Monday, they put aside their Bible, they will take it Sunday in the morning. They took again. They are holy now. In the blood, they say, Bonas, we will praise God. But during the week, Pastor Major, if you meet them, we tell it, Bonas, if you will. Okay, okay, okay. They don't want to associate themselves with their God. Even Jesus Christ himself being saved. If you feel ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you in front of my father. Hallelujah. So the church, let us go back to the track. Let us love God. Let us do the work of God and we will go far and we will see many things happening in our life. Hallelujah. As we continue, again I read about the guy called Nehemiah. You remember Nehemiah? Nehemiah, the guy who built the wall. That guy feared God. Hallelujah. That's why God used him. I'm going to read that. Uh, Nehemiah, because he feared God, he found favor with the king to rebuild the wall of Jerusalem. And then, despite all opposition, he won after receiving the news of the destruction of the walls of Jerusalem. He had a burden to go rebuild, but he first sought the Lord for favor before the king, and God answered him because he feared him. Hallelujah. Because he feared God. He prayed to God to give him favor, to go to king, so that king will allow him to go to rebuild the church. God granted him that favor, and the king allowed him to go to rebuild the wall of Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know which family you are coming from. God can use you to go and bring unity back from that family. I don't know if your brothers, they are drunkard. I don't know if they don't have wives or they are not married. Because of you, God is going to bless your family. Hallelujah. Amen. You are going to be the pillar of your family. Through your shadow, your family is going to be saved in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let us fear God. At least, there was a day God wanted to finish the one. He asked if there is anyone who is saved. At least one person in that family. Let that person be you. Hallelujah. Yeah. That person be saved is you. So that you will save your family. You will save your mother's house. Hallelujah. You will save your marriage. You will save your kids. Hallelujah. Because nowadays, it has become terrible. If you go to school, they are practicing the homosexual, they are practicing a lot of things. So when we send our kids to school, it's only prayer can protect them because we can't stick with them to school. Hallelujah. Amen. We just send them, but we kneel down, we pray to them. Hallelujah. Amen. So that God to protect our kids, we need to go back to the track. The church of today has gone out of track. So today, the message of today, God is telling us to go back to track. Hallelujah. Amen. Pastors in the churches, they are going astray. Pastors, they are collecting congregations' wives. Pastors are sleeping with ladies in the church. Pastors are eating money of the church. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. My pastor is sleeping in a marriage. Pastors who are here, I'm just preaching. Hallelujah. So even now, I happen to be a pastor. I thank, I thank God for that. So, pastors have gone astray. If you go in Nairobi, 
if you listen to the story of the churches, even people that tell you, no, 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 which Jesus are you praying for? You are preaching for me. I don't want those things. It's better I stay home. If the church is like this one, because of a few people, hallelujah, they have gone after and astray. So it is our work to pray to God, the Christianity to go back to the track. Hallelujah. The church to, to, to retain his holiness, the former holiness. So let us pray to God, let us work hard, let us fast, let us read the Bible, we go to church, let us give, let us help those who cannot help themselves. Hallelujah. And God will come back to church. Because long time church, people used to, they were living together. If I have food, I share with my brothers. If I have two t-shirts, I share with my brother. Who doesn't have? Hallelujah. It's not a must here in Somalia. In the village where you are coming, there is a privileged and privileged family. You can help them. You can even take a kid and support that kid to school. Maybe God is waiting that one alone and he open your blessings. Hallelujah. Maybe your blessings is here. God is waiting you to do something small. Go back in the village. Support your church. Maybe the church <laughs> doesn't have a floor. Go on the buy ties. Go on and do something in church. Go on the buy speaker. The way the church used to do before. You remember the day of uh, Anani and eh? Safira or who? Those one who sold the land and then they refused to sell and then they died. The Christian of that time, they used to sell what you have, you bring in church, we share together. So go back home there, go and help somebody, go and do something good in the community and the God will bless you. Hallelujah. I don't know how my time is going. I'm having a small time because of time I need to tackle quickly. I'm remaining with five minutes and then I finish. So before I finish, there is a, another one here I'll read for you and then we'll be blessed. I'm going to read about uh, Daniel. He feared the Lord and refused to defile himself with the portion of the king's meat. Daniel also did not succumb to praying to the king as was a disaster in the land. Instead, he continued to pray to his God as he had always done. This put him in the lion's den, but God delivered him. The lion were expected to eat him up, but God spared his life. Hallelujah. You remember the story of Daniel? Daniel, he refused to pray to the God of the king. Hallelujah. Daniel, he refused to eat the food that others were eating. Through that one, God spared his life when they brought him in the day of life. Hallelujah. So don't compromise your salvation because of small things. Don't compromise your salvation because of small bribe. Maybe you are working from, someone will come with small shillings, $20, $30. Oh, please send for me this material. No, 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 no. As a Christian, that is a sin. Hallelujah. Amen. I happen to be a food technician. Where I work, some people will come. Brother Pat, I'll be giving you some tip, some token. So you'll be doing for me A, B, and Z. I tell you, no, 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 no. Keep your token, but I can help you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So if you be straight, God will walk with you. But when you start corrupting yourself, mixing yourself, that's when the Spirit of God will run away from you. Praise God. After he has run away from you, you come to church, and then the Spirit of God will run out of the away from the church. So let us go back to the track. Let us do the work of God. Let us be faithful to the God, and we will see the fruit of our salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. There is a blessing in salvation. There is a lot of things in salvation. Hallelujah. Those who we got talked together, others who backslided, if you check their life now and you compare with your life, they are different. Hallelujah. The one you went with them to school, they are not saved and you are saved. If you compare their life with your life, it's different because you ran to Jesus and Jesus has protected you. Hallelujah. He always works with you. It's not in vain for you to be here in Somalia. There were a lot of people who were qualified to come here, but they did not make it. But God chose you. Hallelujah. Because you are his son. So if you walk with God, all good things will follow us. One is what you To come to the Mungu, to wish him a shout of Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Rhoda Unaskia, when you are there at the military, preach to them. Hallelujah. When they want to do something, but they no, 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 no. This is not right. You correct them. And the Lord will bless you. One is what you feel. So I think I will reach there because of time. I'll bring back the program. I want to be faithful because I know my time is finished. I was to finish 16.35, now it's 16.32, so it's there and then you are blessed as I go, I will sing one song, 
a Swahili song and then you'll be blessed. You also understand Swahili, you'll be blessed. I sing this song normally. The song is called Macho Yabwana. Macho Yabwana ni makati munu. The eyes of God, they see everywhere. So when you are singing, when you are hiding yourself, you are hiding yourself from pastor, but you are not hiding yourself from God. It goes like this. Macho macho ya bwana ni makali mno 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 jiunge na wale viule we pombe we Useme leta moja moto moja baridi Uwende leje kusema leta tulivyo Uwashe sigara ya kufute haraka Umumunye pere mende ukute harufu Uchunguli edirisha ni hakuna mtu Lakini macho ya buwana ni makali mno Macho macho ya buwana ni makali mno Macho macho ya buwana ni makali mno Humudu ni miani macho mengi tumu Ndege wa hangani wanayo macho Sama kibahari ni wanayo macho Wanyama wa mituni wanayo macho Ukia ona ya chura ya kea tisha Ukia ona ya kinyonga ya kea jabu Moja la ona mele moja la ona nyuma Gari la moshi na loo jicho moja tu Mimi mweye wengu imbanji macho mawidi Lakini macho ya wana ni makali ndo Macho macho ya wana ni makali ndo Understood what it means to fear God. Hallelujah. Amen. You understood 
what it is to fear God, it will be important to you. Hallelujah. So as we continue, and he feared God whether people were there or not. He feared God because he loved God. He feared and loved his master too. When we fear and love God, we will automatically love other and, and those who have the rule over us. He feared, he, he feared the fear he had for God made him wise enough to know, to know not to sin against God and his master. When you fear God, you will not sin to your master. When you fear God, you will not sin to your neighbor. Hallelujah. Amen. You will never sin because you fear God. Allow the fear of God to be like your confusion. The fear of God to be like your driver. Wherever you go, be with the fear of God. When you are about to do this thing and you have fear of God inside you, you will not, you will not sin. Hallelujah. Amen. Because fear of God will keep on reminding you you are about to do sin. Hallelujah. Amen. So let us keep make fear of God to be inside us. When we have fear of God, we will not sin. Hallelujah. Either you are to work, either you are alone, either you are traveling, either you are back at the village, be with the fear of God. Only fear of God, God will help us to strengthen our Christianity. Hallelujah. So, Tafika Mahali Apo, Mbarikiwe Sana. God bless you. There is a living God. That is a wonderful name. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God, God is working his things in his own way.